This is an, an algebraic fractions question from C3. It's worth six marks. Right, the first thing says simplify and then there's a fraction. Now think about what you do to simplify a fraction with numbers before starting it with algebra. All you do is cancel numbers at the top with numbers at the bottom, cancel common factors. Now these aren't factorised yet, so the first thing you need to do is factorise them. The bottom factorises to make x plus 1 times x minus 1. That's the difference of two squares and it's something that we need to be able to spot quite quickly rather than faff about with it. So difference of two squares, x squared take away 1 squared is x minus 1 times x plus 1. And the top must have one of these as a factor, otherwise it wouldn't, there wouldn't be any cancelling. But let's see what we get. We get 3x in the first bracket and x in the second bracket. That gives us the 3x squared. We want two numbers that multiply to make minus 2. And when we triple 1 and add the other one to it, we get minus 1. So that must be this. think so 3x squared minus 2 is there there's 2x and there's minus 3x to give the minus x that works and these cancel to leave the answer oh sorry I've cancelled that completely wrong uh, these common factors cancel that one cancels with that one to leave the answer 3x plus 2 over x plus 1 can't simplify that any further it's cancelled down as much as possible right part b says hence or otherwise which basically means use we're going to use the result we've just done we just found we're going to express this minus this as a single fraction in its simplest form. Okay. Now, what we don't do is, is actually use this. We use our simplified version. So really, the question becomes this simplified fraction, take away 1 over x, x plus 1. Now, we've already got x plus 1 as a common factor here, so we just need to multiply top and bottom here by x. Then everything is over a common denominator. Now multiply everything out, I'll use a different colour for this, multiply everything out we get here 3x squared plus 2x minus 1, there's 3x squared plus 2x and the minus 1 comes from bringing this fraction into it and all of that is divided by, now don't be tempted to multiply this out, leave it factorised, in fact we're going to now factorise the numerator of this fraction and see if we can simplify anything. So that's the denominator. Now we want to factorise this numerator. Uh, if we can, b squared minus 4ac. b squared is 4. Uh, 4ac is minus 12. So that's 16. So it should. that's a perfect square. What, what I've just worked out there is the discriminant. Go back to C1 if you don't understand what that means. Uh, look up discriminant. Um, so the discriminant is a perfect square, which means I should be able to factorise this all right. Now all of that takes very little time for me to see, so it's worth having a go at factorising this. Now I'm hoping that one of the factors is x plus 1, then I can cancel with the x plus 1 on the bottom. Let's see what we get. Looking for two numbers that multiply to make 3x, to multiply to make minus 1, well there's not really much choice there, which is good. Plus 1 and minus 1 are the only real numbers that are going to work. So plus 1 and minus 1, and they add to make 2x. So the plus 1 must go here. That way we get plus 3x and minus 1x here. And sure, as x is x, we get cancelling here with this. So the answer is there. 3x minus 1 divided by x. There's nothing much... Uh, w well, there is something we can do with that, but it wouldn't be a single fraction. I'll just show you what we could do with that. We're going to try and simplify 3x minus 1 over x and we'll split it up into two, two fractions basically, 3x over x minus 1 over x. So we could write it as that, but that's not what the question is asking. The question says, as a single fraction, that's a single fraction there. In its simplest form, this is not a single fraction at all, even though here I've split it up and made it probably simpler. Six marks.